Alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to swap out the anvils of the DeWalt 3 8 inch impact wrench with the quarter inch hex uh, DeWalt's XR impact driver. So some people say that the quarter inch hex will probably snap. So the model number for the 3 8 inch impact wrench is DCF890 and the model number for the quarter inch hex is DCF887. So we're going to swap this out to see if these are even capable of being done. So already, first we're going to do the XR. I got my magnet tray right here just to, uh, with two separate magnets to keep them separated. So let's do the XR first. This is my favorite tool that I own, by the way. All right, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Let's see how easy this is to take out. Now, I think the yep, I gotta cut the uh, gotta cut the sticker in half, which that's okay. I'm cool with that. There we go. That clamshell came. Oh, that's what's holding it on the sticker right there. There we go. Now that should come off easily. Yep. Everything's separated. Just something right here that's holding it in. Yeah, that's out. I know what's holding it in. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, another sticker was holding it on. I got you. I should have cut that sticker. Alrighty, so this is what the inside of the XR looks like. In case you guys were wondering. They they insulated the, they insulated that extremely well, extremely well. This should come right out. You know you want to come. There we go. Now it's off. Alrighty, so then this is just not spring loaded, but it has a spring on there. You have to take that off carefully, like so. And there is the hammer, and there's the anvil. Now let's take the collet out. Now if you take this out, be careful. There's a spring behind it, and that will just spring up, and you don't want that lost. That would be bad. All right, so that takes that out. Then... I should get some paper towel for this. All right, wow, that's smart. That's smart of them to do. Alrighty, so I got that. I was able to get that off, and the anvil just falls through. Which is very good. We're going to put that in a safe spot on the magnet tray. And there you go. We have successfully taken off one of the one of the anvils. So let's now do the uh, do the other one. Now, when it comes to the three eighths inch uh, the three eighths inch impact wrench, the anvil, it's there aren't any springs like the hex needs, so it's gonna be a lot easier to take out. And this is this is why I bought these tools to do this type of stuff. And that clamshell is ready to come off already. 
All right, now we just gotta cut two of the, of the one. Uh, I think this is two stickers, actually. I think that's good. And the one in front. I think that should be good. Off, 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 off. Nothing else. Alright, I think this is, yep, easily. There we go, that's that. And it looks pretty much the same thing. Let's compare the size. That's the XR to the 3 8 inch impact, uh, 3 8 inch impact wrench. And there's the anti-theft strip. Alrighty, so that's that. That just slides like that. Then we gotta take this. Uh, like that. And there you go. There's the clamshell. Alright, just like the other one. We gotta take that off like that. And this... Just comes off like that. There we go. Yeah, that's a, that's already the hammer. All right, so and those are the anvils. What we're gonna see is we're gonna see if the quarter inch fits into the three eighths inch wrench which they look pretty much the same thing with the same yeah they're pretty much the same size yeah it'll fit excellent so this is the because the impact driver is a galvanized finish the impact wrench has a shiny finish has a glossy finish to it to it so so this is the XR so let's now put this in there there we go and it fits look at that and it fits so now we got to put this in we need to take that out for this. There is a washer in it. We, we don't need this for that. There we go. Let's slide this back on. Wrap this back on. Just like that, put this back in. You gotta make sure you, all the wires are put back in properly. Just gotta get those two wires back in their spots. Then, we're pretty much done. Alrighty, let's put the clamshell back. Alrighty. So before we finish, uh, I do want to put a battery in there and see if it even works. Yes, it does. All right, so let's finish up and put the uh, put the collet on. All right, so we gotta make sure we put the ball back in. The ball bearing. 
But already, there you go. I turned the 3 8 inch impact wrench into a quarter inch hex uh, impact wrench. Here's the, X, uh, the XR impact driver impact wrench. Very good. So, what happened was, is there uh, the ball bearing that is inside there is not in the correct position. So, this is not locking in place. So all I had to, uh, so to fix that, all I got to do is take this out again, which I'm not because I don't need this to lock into place for the test. But yeah, it's okay. It but it is fully functional. This is reverse. This is forward. This is uh, variable trigger only. This does not have the speed settings like the uh, impact driver does. But there you go. So this is a complete conversion from the 3 8 inch impact wrench to a quarter inch impact wrench. So that's pretty pretty unique. See, like if you uh, tinker with your tools, you can do stuff like this. You know, you could also do the same thing with uh, with other tools. But I say let's give this a little test. Now, based on how long this is already, I do not want this to be a long video. We are just going to do a little test with this, and in the next video, we are going to do, uh, we are going to completely do a versus video between the 3 8 inch and quarter inch. It is getting late. I don't want to make too much noise. So yeah, this took, it took a little bit longer than I thought, but it's okay though. So let's uh, test this out, see what this can do. And like I said, it is late by me, so we are... See, that's what I'm talking about. I'll adjust that ball bearing in the next video. So, we're just going to use a 2 amp hour battery. Battery is full. Alright, so right here should be pretty good. Alright, so ready? Go. <laughs> Uh, so let's do one four inch lag. Let's just see how it does when it comes to driving it in and taking it out. All right, so ready? Go. That is that. See, it is, it is a big deal if that ball bearing inside does not uh, work properly because for every single screw or nut or whatever, you have to reinsert that. So I will be fixing that in the next video, and it will be the next video. All right, so let's take this out. Let's see how this does in reverse. All right, so ready? Go. That is fast. That is fast. All right, so let's do this as well. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Now, as you can see, tinkering with tools, taking them apart, it's not. It's really not bad. I probably avoided warranty, but I don't care. That's what this channel is for. We do this type of stuff so we could see how it performs, so you don't have to. So, yeah, but as you can see, it does fit. It does operate well. I just messed up, and I put the ball bearing in the wrong position. So, yeah. But this... One thing that I have found out through the time uh, doing the, these type of videos, this Hilti is my favorite uh, tool that I have. This is my this one it comes inside with me, uh, so yeah, I love I love this tool. But and like I said, uh, I am sorry. This is not a versus video between the quarter inch hex impact uh, 
quarter inch hex versus the 3 8 inch anvil. That is going to be in the next video. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, please hit the like button and hit the bell button to be notified for future videos. The, this, the next video is going to be the 3 8 anvil versus the quarter inch uh, anvil. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.